The head and guts are removed. Then each fish is cut into four chunks. The chunks are simmered for an hour or two in hot water at 85 to 95 degrees Celsius. Let's take a closer look at the process. The boiled skipjack is cooled in cold water while being deboned by hand. Is there any reason why it's all done by hand? That's to avoid damaging the fish. Machines will always harm the flesh, and that has an adverse effect on product quality. The bones are not straight, but curved, so they have to be carefully plucked out. That requires special attention. Does it matter if there's one or two left? Oh, if even just one bone remains, then when the fish is dried, the flesh shrinks, but the bone doesn't, causing the katsuo bushi to warp. The deboned skipjack is smoked immediately to prevent deterioration. Woods burned for smoking include various species of oak that contain sweet resin. Compounds released into the smoke impart a distinctive aroma. Here's something I really want you to see. The ones on the top tray and the ones on the bottom tray, I want you to see the difference. Let's take a look. Here's one from the bottom. Oh, it's already got kind of reddish tinge to it, hasn't it? Yeah. It's changed. That's after how long? About 45 minutes. And does it smell different? Take a sniff of it. Mm. Very slight smoke smell, not that strong yet. <laughs> Even in 45 minutes, there's, you're starting to get a difference there. To ensure even smoking, the trays are rotated from top to bottom throughout a two-hour session. There are all sorts of different elements to the smoke. They include phenols, which have an impact on the aroma. They are deposited on the surface of the fish. Then, as the fish dries, the phenols seep down into the flesh. Then everything combines to produce a really wonderful smell. After this, the fish is moved to another place for a full month of smoking. This room is for the next stage of drying. The process continues here. Let me explain how this room works. At the very bottom, wood is burned. Around here. The smoke rises to the top of the chamber. Inside, there are four levels with open grid floors. Fish containing the most moisture are placed closest to the fire. As they get drier, they are moved up, level by level. The fish undergoes repeated smoking for four hours a day. I mean, in the summer months, Japan gets very hot and humid. Doesn't the fish go bad? The fish is kept at over 60 degrees Celsius, hot enough to prevent bacterial growth. Plus, the smoke contains components that inhibit bacteria. So, smoking the fish prevents it from spoiling. Today's smoking session has begun. Yeah, it's pretty smoky in here. <laughs> okay, so that's all swirling around in there and going up. So once the fish are put back there in the smoking room, are they just left in there for the whole month? No. Tomorrow, after the fish have cooled down, they will all be removed each time. Why? Letting the fish cool down allows the moisture trapped inside the fish to come to the surface. That's what happens when they cool down. The moisture comes out naturally. And then the surface of the fish becomes moist. Oh, really? Okay. Once enough of the moisture has come to the surface, the fish are put back in the room to dry again. 
So they repeat that over and over again, and whatever moisture is left inside then seeps out. Eventually enough moisture is driven out to make rock hard katsu bushi. Okay, okay. Here we have katsu bushi from the smoking room. Smoked one week, two weeks, three weeks, and after four weeks you have the final product. How, how do they know when it's complete, when the whole process is completed and it's ready to go? You can tell by bending the block. Look at this. See how it flexes? How much it flexes tells you how much moisture is left. From the third week on, it won't flex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not with my strength anyway. Yeah. This one won't bend a bit. At this stage, you judge by sound. Oh. Here's three weeks and four. Oh, that's completely different, isn't it? Wow. So really, week to week, there's, there's quite a big change. So that's, that's after a month, and it's already starting to sound like a percussion instrument. Now try knocking it really hard. It should break. Oh, really? Whoa. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, oh. oh, that's beautiful. When the core and perimeter are the same color, it means the moisture content is the same. Mm. This is ideal.